Hello there, my name is Andy Redwood from MammoWorld.com and today we're going to be making this nice clock animation with each of the hands moving accurately. So we have our composition set up here. There's no animation on it so far. We're exactly one minute long. And you want to have the second hand, minute hand, and hour hand all on separate layers. So I'm just going to zero those back out. Now the first thing we want to do is to keyframe the second hand's rotation. So we're going to get, set a keyframe at the beginning here, move to the end at one minute, and do one full rotation. And what we want to do here is make a nice ticking motion so that it kind of pauses in between each second and gives us a nice accurate clock bit. So to do this, we're going to use the I expression from Mammo World, snap to grid. So first go into the library here, and you'll find it under movement modifiers, snap to grid, and you want to make sure you use Snap to Grid, not 2D or 3D. Click OK. So the really important setting here is this grid size. And what we've got is 360 degrees in a circle divided by 60 seconds in a minute. So we can just do simply 360 divided by 60 equals 6. Then we're going to select the rotation of the second hand, hit Apply. And if we go back to the beginning and previous, you'll find that it is ticking like a real clock. Now, if you'd like to make this ticking a bit smoother, what you can do is select your rotation again and add in just a little bit of smoothness. So 30% will get you this nice little ticking here. Now, to get the animation for the minute hand and the hour hand, we're going to use the second hand to drive this using the cogwheel expression from iExpressions. So to do this, go into the library, and you're going to find this under physics simulations, uh, real time, and cogwheels. If you're feeling lazy, you can also simply type in cog and you'll find it there. Click OK. So first we're going to connect the rotation of the second hand and just click on connect there. And we want for every 60 seconds of the second hand, we want one for the other wheel, which is the minute hand. We also want to make sure we check the flip direction box here because cogwheels normally move in opposite directions, whereas we want ours to go in the same direction. So just click on the rotation and then apply. And you'll see if we scrub through, for every 60 seconds, we have one minute on the minute hand. Now for the rotation of the hour hand, we're going to do exactly the same thing, except we're connecting the rotation of the minute hand. So click connect up here. And then we need to enter in five to this box, but that's because we're basically working in seconds and we need to go five units across here for the hour hand. So what we do is click on the rotation of the hour hand, click apply, and you'll see that as we scrub through, the hour hand is in fact minutely moving. In fact, if we take it to the end keyframe here, enter 60 rotations, and then you'll see that the hour hand has moved and we can scrub through and take it an entire hour. And that is your ticking clock animation complete. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It really helps us out. More information can be found at mammaworld.com. My name is Andy Redwood. Thanks for watching.